What is up everybody? I am back again with another post tournament commentary video of this past monthly over at 10th level tavern down here in sunny south florida and yeah let's get started on the first match all right so most of my matches in this tournament were off stream unfortunately um just the top eight were actually streamed and i think this was top 16 if i'm if i'm not wrong um anyway so this is absolute shit he is a fang player he was the one that um, was very back sway happy and back one happy. So I'm going to be using all the data that I gathered from the previous tournament and apply it to this set. So I think I went the route of pretty much delaying all my pokes to bait out the, the panic buttons. Names are backward. Names swap. Alright, we got Fang versus Yoshi Mitsu. Both of them fancy ass characters. But, uh, I'm shit has taken around all the angles. Alright, well, so far. He's just doing the basic Fang long range pokes. I ate the down back for one. I didn't duck the, the second hit, unfortunately. So that was a that was the first patience tester for the round for the round. That was the second one. He actually just straight up straight up got up off the floor. I don't. I'm not really seeing anything out of the norm. That was a really horrible trade. And I don't know why he went for the windmill punches, but like if this was Tekken 5, it would be one thing, but not in Tekken 7. That's a good step on his part. Uh, so since he got hit by the second 1-1, one, one, that means he's, he's anxious on the buttons. So I think with that data, I think I, w I was going ahead and just, I was going to continue with the... With the plus frames that I was, that I, like I was gonna essentially use all the plus frames to lead into my next attacks. Yeah, see, so he keeps he keeps thinking that everything is a single hit, and, he, and he's just straight mashing after it. I no punish on his part. Yeah, he keeps doing back ones for everything. I'm like not gonna touch checking in any tournament for like six months. Oh, that was the wrong punish on the shoulder. Okay, good counter hit there. Oh, he dropped that combo. And he went for the low again for no reason. And again, he went for the bun after. After the down forward three for no reason. So he's just anxious on the buttons. I don't know if he's just nervous or he's just... He's just assuming that... You can interrupt everything. Either way, I, I don't think I changed my game plan at all for this next match. All right, so we got no, no wall breaks or floor breaks or balcony breaks. So this should be a pretty boring match. Well, not really. It's a small arena. Oh, I didn't duck that again. Okay, so I flashed that. You should never do that against Yoshi. And I missed the dash on the back too. Ooh, that was a really random hop kick. Yeah, so I'm just going for all the buttons, and I missed the juggle there. God, I don't know why I did that so late. It was like two weeks ago, so I'm just seeing these matches for the first time since then. So a lot of spacing, a lot of med cancels. Oh, okay, that was a good read on his side. He floated. He sidestepped, floated the forward forward knee. Yeah, he panic button after it. Haha, <laughs> wake up, raise drive for the win. Okay, so I just continue 
Continue the pendulum swing. Oh, that was horrible. Oh, horrible. All right, he still got the counter hit though. I'll give him that. That's not punishable. Why did I push a button? There he goes again, pushing buttons after, after the kicks. Oh, Patchy helicopter? Nope. Yeah. Punch him out there. Oh, oh wow. That was really random. Oh, drop the combo. I don't like that. Yep. Backhand. He doesn't know the plus frames. Oh, yeah, he should not do that. And I dropped Back. the combo. Oh, you know, I would <laughs> of all things, totally I could have just that. done anything. I totally <laughs> and I did. And I went for that, of all things. So here, I think I'm just going for a, a quick poke. Oh, yeah. I was just waiting for him to actually leave himself open for me to poke him. Okay, I'll take that trade all day. Oh, Jesus. So yeah, he keeps doing that. You shouldn't ever do that against Yoshi, man. Uh, there I was hoping he would... He would duck again. Okay, whip punish. Again, missed the dash. So I ended it. Because he was going to push a button afterwards. Uh, he just ran into that, and that should be over. Yeah. All right, so yeah, that match was uneventful. It was a lot of just him hanging himself. All right, so this next match is against Keldrum. He is the one that put me into losers last month, and then I had to reset this, reset it, and then. And then win get it, you baby. another three to beat him in grand finals. Yeah, man. I put cigarettes. Um, like I played him already. How many? I don't know how many times in tournament. Though. So I already have a general idea of what to expect. All right. Hey, I'd rather um, smell like but based off the last the uh, set that we had in the previous tournament, Fair. one thing that I did notice oh. after I was reviewing the video <laughs> is that since he was doing a no, lot no. of All right. so like single jab into anything. Like single jab into elbow, single jab into throw, into hop kick, whatever. I was going to beat him to the punch this time. And I would twitch duck the jab that he's using to start his offense. And then punish it with a wall standing. Like that was like one of the main things that I was going to do. Mainly because it's going to break up his flow completely. And he would have to adjust and start using different moves to open up his offense. Like in 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 the correct way, in the correct methodology that he should have done, uh, would be to st start the offense by encroaching my my safe area. You know, it's just by straight dashing and blocking, or dashing and ducking and then blocking. You know. Okay, let's see. So this match is starting. Nope. Just a lot of pokes. Yeah, and another thing, I was actually paying attention to the throws this time. So oh, I was actually oh, breaking a lot oh of the throws. Not all of them, because I was busy but eating my own inputs later on in the set. But oh, we break oh. every. Oh my god! But I was more aware of the throws. There I did. I don't know. I, I think I went into Kincho and I mashed one plus two and I ate the the input. So good ducks there. And the, he du he's not ducking. Yeah, like in all these sets, he has yet to duck the second hit. And punish me for it. Are we going low? <laughs> oh, we got rage? We got rage? Same day as that legendary RKO. Okay, there was just a lot of pokes. Just yeah, testing really the waters really to really see really how aggressive he wants to be with the buttons. So okay, so I interrupted the 4 4 one Another thing I noticed is that he's still um, very apprehensive as far as knowing what to use to punish the Fubukini. But like, like I think he later on he starts hop kicking I believe. Oh, two piece. Okay, I think he gets this round because I'm being very dumb. Oh, why did I punish with that? That was nice. That was nice. I like. Sure, he's just punished with a wall standing two one. All right, opening the round with a throw. Okay, he's breaking round two. That's a high level second move. Yeah, one thing that, that, that I learned from my the labbing I had the previous, uh, like after the previous month, is after King's forward, forward one, if you instantly do a sidestep right one, so the sidestep, the sidestep one, but using only the sidestep right option, 
you can actually beat a lot of his options. And I think the only options you weren't able to beat were um, King not doing anything. So if King pushes a button, literally everything gets punished. If he does a 2-1, a down forward 1-2, um, an alley kick, a hop kick, a throw, all that whiffs. Just because of the, the built-in sidestep in sidestep 1. And when you do a sidestep right, since... Since Yoshi is ducking that direction when he when he does the animation, he it has a little extra evasion built in, uh, so it works Lefle. wonders against him. Squishy, so whenever when you block, you, when you block a four four one <laughs> side step right one, that's all you got to do. Oh, oh, I was like no, no one is shining with it. Okay. Okay. Alright, so he just ducked. I don't know what he was thinking I was gonna do there, but he ducked. Yep. Like at that stage of the round, I was not gonna go nuts on the buttons. I was just gonna keep it simple and beat him with the with the most uh, minimal effort, which is just down forward one, because eventually he's gonna duck. Yup, it wins. Hey, it wins. Shit. You know when rat. All right, so for this round, what was I thinking? Um, I think it's just like I kept the whole. Um, if it ain't broke, don't don't fix don't <laughs> change it. What was it? If it ain't broke, don't fix it, kind of thing. So a lot, just a lot of pokes. He's not ducking that, so he's not as sharp as he was last time. Oh, he ran into it, so that means he's impatient. He didn't wait it out. Oh, he tried to jab it. That was a horrible move on his part. Okay, good. Here comes him. He went for the forward two setup after it. Good old size step right one. Ooh, why did I go for that? Oh. Church tree slide. Church slide. Oh, that's a horrible punish it. <laughs> that's a launch. Oh, oh so, okay, yeah, like I think I, I went for another suicide went later on. But, but he was prepared yeah, for that, which is good. Oh, I don't know what happened there. Yeah, just the tracking of forward one and the tracking of the Atlas hammer both just canceled out each other with goofy goofiness. I think so. He's not ducking that, that second high. Uh, looking pretty much tight on this round so far. Yep. Oh, he healed not Ooh. on that knee. That was good damage there. Okay, he oh, went for the homie oh, after that. Okay, that was good. That was really close on his side. Oh, he got that pressure. Ooh. Did we break? Oh, oh, breaks it. He tried to yeah, if he didn't break it, he would have lost that round, dude. Yep, would have been right into the wall. The wall damage would have killed right okay. there. Okay. All right. So I'm, I'm so I'm being good as far as the throw goes. Oh, there he goes. Here, <laughs> so I step right one. It's magic against King. That was a lot of damage if you didn't break that. Overhead. Oh, I hit him from there, but I hit him from the mid mid instead of the mid high. I could have ended the round just right there. Why do we fall, Bruce? Low block. Uh, I could have ended that way sooner too. Oh well. Um, same game plan for the third set. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. Yeah, in the room. Yeah. I got that one one with Ryu and tried to go to sleep. He was like, "Nope, wake your ass up." All right, what stage did we get? Yep. Shoot, I perfect him. He must have been mad. Uh, I can't see from the Perfect thumbnail. Perfect me in every match of every game of Soul Calibur since. Oh shit. Oh, okay, <laughs> same stage. Maybe one day, one day he might reconsider and return to the. It's like as dark as this stage is, I really do like it. Right. All right, let's see. Ooh, All right, so long range poke. All right, so one thing I did notice is that he was eating here. the lows a lot more. What's this set? Like in the last part. tournament, he was ducking and blocking them all. Oh, oh there you go. Speak right of the devil. Mm. That's it. That's all you can do. All right, so what does he do on Oki? Okay, the safe option. Kick him while he down. 
Okay, he's not blocking low. Trying to step after getting hit. What, the bread and butter? Hell yeah. Oh, see, oh good back bread and butter. I just bread need... Oh, Alright, what does he do here? Bow. I think he goes for the shoulder. Oh, yeah. Ooh. Like, I think, like, I, I, I lied that already. I was, I was too late on the input. <laughs> like, I, I, you can totally get away, get around it just by straight doing a kincho forward, but I guess I inputted it way too late. Um, let's see. Oh, hey, plus frames. He pushed the button afterwards. Back turn. That danger is there. there you go. Good oh, duck, finally. Apache helicopter and he takes it. He gonna take it with the Apache helicopter. Take it with flight. Right? That's what I should have done in that first round. Well, n not the first round. The first match. Right. Where I, like, I, blo I ducked it, and then I just did a throw instead. <laughs> right, well, it's like the worst option possible. Oh, that was a good hop kick. Alright, what does he do now? Okay, the other safe option. And oh. then he ran into the down forward too. Okay, he's not getting up off the floor. So since he's not get instantly getting off the floor, I think next time I launch him, I go for the for the kincho slide. If he gets this, I'm going to die laughing. <laughs> Oh, he messed up there. I mean, he, oh, launcher. Oh, oh I went right, for the for the wall. mid option. <laughs> Neither character wants to be on the wall here. Okay, oh. he pushed buttons. He stayed oh, down. Man, that was he good. Stayed down. I'd have woke up. Yep. My dumbass would have woke up into that too. Oh. Who didn't break that generic? Oh, generally, like when I get hit at that range, I like to throw out a down forward oh. four. Just because people like to run in, but that was that, unfortunately yeah. he was a little yeah, farther right. than normal. This round's gonna make him break the series. Ooh, Back impatience. In. And I go for the damage Carry. one. Yeah. Carry with the jab. Mm. Oh, that's we it. In. There we go. And that's flat that's half my life. God. Yep. Get damage. Yep. Okay, that. so that since we were that close to the wall, I gave up damage to to do the full position oh, nice change. Oh, oh, he pushed a button. That was. Oh, he got it wrong. <laughs> oh, 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 the old down, well, big jab into down four. The oldest 50-50 in the game. Trying to run away with it here. Trying to get his money. If you don't know, that tactic is like. <laughs> From Tekken 3. <laughs> All right, you do a dick stage. jab and Eric then the mix up is wall standing four or down four. Yep. Like I remember um, back in the day when Tekken Zaibatsu was, was a thing. There was one guy that was his, his actual screen name was down one down four. It was so good. Uh, back in the day before Facebook, before Discord. All right, so now I think this is grand I need finals. That <laughs> I need that I'm in winners, and Keldrum is in losers. And I think it's the same. Like I'm using all the same data that I got from the previous set. I was gonna do sidestep right one more, and I was gonna try to twitch duck his wall standing one twos, or twitch duck his jabs and do wall standing one twos. Winning the losers finals to make it a grand final. I should really Four swap that into wall sending two ones in the future, but I like to play the, the slightly safer option. Let's see how this goes. Because if you mess up the timing on the wall sending two one, you're getting launched afterwards. Oh, oh all right. That but you didn't get the crumple because you know they were, they were, they traded in the that. air. Yeah, they traded that. He needs that bread and bomb. That's what I'm Okay, he's not pushing buns after oh, the Fubuki. Okay, okay. with. Throw with punish with the sword. So he's not getting off the floor because he ate the second hit of the no sword sweep. Double punch thingy. I don't even know what it's called. The swordless sword sweep. The swordless sword sweep punch thing. I guess. That'll be the official name. I gotta learn that little like low sidestep thing he does. Like, yeah. yeah, see, so I'm twitch ducking all his jabs. Like that look like, that look like, that look like, that look like they called the audible. It's like, wait, hold up. <laughs> yeah, don't change position. Oh shit! Like, where do you think you're going? 
He's well, very hesitant on the buttons. Right? See, so he he bases his, a lot of his offense off the jab. Oh, 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 oh. So I jab throw, jab throw, jab, jab mid. Oh, kick. Yeah. That kick. Oh, I like how he sidestepped it. Just stay, stay in front of him. Yeah. Oh, no. Oh. Hey, go up to zip on the, uh, on the set here. I don't know why they did the jab. That was the most riskiest jab ever. But it worked out in the end. Because I really only needed a couple damage. But. Okay, he's hesitating. So Because he, generally he does the Jaguar step back to go avoid it. And he did not that time. So. Okay, so he keeps. he Oh, he's always doing the down forward four after the the giant swing under. Oh, elbow. I like it. Blocks the boost up. Ooh, okay, yeah. Okay, so I I lab that also. When you block King's Rage Drive, you have enough time to mash a flash and still react to the throw. So if you block the Rage Drive and you do a flash, if he does any any other options, for example, like if he does an elbow, I get down forward one, a hop kick, a back four, whatever, the flash will beat it. And depending on the move, you'll get a counter hit launch or you'll get a float launch. So if he does the hop kick, you get a flash into crouch dash too. But if you do the flash and he does the throw, you still have to pay attention to which arms are coming towards you. And you can, but you can still escape the incoming throw. So it's actually like a an option select slash throw, I guess, throw window. Creating creation, I guess you can call it. I don't know, but either way, you can you can still react to the throw. Just don't mash flash multiple times. You just gotta mash it once. Cause like once that flash comes out, if you push anything afterwards, obviously you're gonna eat your throw input, your throw escape input. <laughs> <laughs> you created a monster. Yeah, <laughs> they started using the air horn too. All right, enough of that. I have to turn on that add-on on my streams, which if you if you're not subscribed to my Twitch channel, you guys should because I have been streaming a lot lately. Um, it's twitch.tv slash um Inca LOL, and it's LOL not for League of Legends but for laughing out loud because somebody stole my my nickname, and I said screw it. What's the easiest way to remember? LOL. All right, so now we have another smaller stage. I don't think I'd change anything, really, from what I'm doing. He's a waste of a slot, and they should have had Lee Wulong. Okay, no throw break. We can't get Lee Wulong, but we can get Pandakuma. Okay, he's, he was late on his, on his punish there. Pandakuma I can live with. Okay, he's keeping it a whole lot more compact this time. Ooh. We can't get late long, we can get busted ass geese hours. And I think I start to oh, awesome. This guy says Noctis yeah. is a punishment. Oh my god, I didn't break that. That was like an obvious yeah, giant. Yeah, Noctis is a punishment. A punishment to his good Tekken fans. Oh, oh that ooh, was a little ooh, too preemptive. Oh, he was ready for it. He was like, I'm going to wait this out. All right. Yeah, good thing I lost that round. That was really newbie. Oh man, now I'm not breaking throws. Uh, he went. He went for the back roll catch. Okay, he's ducking. That was the only way that that uppercut would hit with that animation. Okay, he's trying to catch. Ooh, that was a good back dash. I don't even think that was a back dash. I think he's just whiffed. All right. Okay, that's good. So I started introducing the the Fubuki knee again. Just because he's, oh, I, I think I noticed that he's starting to twitch up. duck at ranged. Oh, put, put on the wall. oh I messed that up. Mm. Okay, so he's anxious back after he got hit by the down back four. So I think I start using down back four in the crouch dash two again. Oh, he's he's really like he's getting the bait on the flash, but he's not punishing it correctly. I didn't duck that. Oh, and I went to, to steal his, his life. 
Oh, there I tried to flash. That was a dumb idea. Instant shiny blizzard. Let's go. Can we grab on the wall there? I was a twitch duck and I didn't do anything afterwards. Okay, so he got up ducking. On the wall? Don't Nina got some shit like that? I'm not sure why he did that. It was like the end of the round. He really didn't want to do that. Like, I've lately started introducing down forward four again into my, into my poking routine, as you can tell. Just because, like, I've gotten, I've gotten a good good idea of how far like what the max max range of down forward four is so i'm pretty much using it as um as pretty much a do like a like i'm stopping people's entrances to their to their offense with it like like, like, if, like if you see certain players play like for example like bronson he likes to do early jabs same thing with uh, with um with Mr. Naps. They both like to do dash and then they'll jump the gun as far as th their their interrupting jabs that they use. So like generally, what people do is like they'll dash in and then near the tail end of their dash or their forward dash, they'll do a jab, right? Or they'll do a down forward one. What Bronson and Jimmy do is like they dash and then before the dash is even close to being halfway through they'll jab so that broken rhythm that they're introducing with that jab is kind of what i'm trying to replicate with down forward four but with down forward four i really don't have to dash because the range on it is better than a dash jab and it has less tells also Okay, so there he. Uh, I'm, like I, I did the Fubuki knee twice, just to, just to see exactly what he was doing, and he kept, and he did the down forward two twice. So that means that that's his go-to option, which means I can freely hold back and not get punished for for doing a Fubuki knee. Okay, he got up correctly after eating a couple hits. You never want to keep trying to get up after after you get a, for example, in that situation where he ate the the counter hit one from the down forward three one. If he kept on holding back, I can pretty much do down forward three while standing for um while standing for all day, and he will never get up off the floor because they all lead into each other. So like I can do down forward three if he holds back. He will get hit and he will stay face down. Like I'm finally getting and then I can I, I get a free full crouch sweep. And then if he gets hit by it and he What's decides to hold back, <laughs> I can do while standing four. And he, all, all those hits count as ground hits and they're all and they all leave him face down. And then after the while standing four, I can do down four three or down four one again for free. With the people's elbow! With the people's elbow! Right, so that was a quick three rounds. For Keldrum. I'm sorry, I was like talking in the middle of the round, so I wasn't really paying attention. Keldrum up 2 1. Um, from what I saw, he was just beating me to the punch a lot. Um, and he was getting me a lot with the homing mid. I forgot what the input is. That, that weird kick. So he was getting me a lot with that. And I wasn't throw, uh, breaking the throws again. So I think in this set, I tried to dial back the momentum. Oh, I thought we needed to go. I think, I think, oh man, it was like, this was like two weeks ago, so it's hard to remember. Alright, so I did it down four. So far, it's just compact. Yeah, no, no, no two hit anything. Okay, I blocked. Four, 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 four neutral two. Chest, right? Oh four yeah, yeah. I'm just keeping it super compact. Oh, oh my God. I even check oh. Facebook chat. That could be where it's at. Oh. Yeah. Ooh. Yeah. No, that was super compact. Do we have ten Facebook chat too? Like if if a move hit and it gave me plus frames, I will do the next safest move. <laughs> it's like there was no no fanciness in that maybe at all. Maybe, maybe yeah. His I don't think I've done a two hit move yet. Ooh, that was a panic hop kick. Oh, Mr. Grab. Oh, Ooh, break that. I like that. that. Grab. We checking out here. <laughs> oh, 
Okay, caught his entry. That was good. Because I think he was going to go for the um, for the running, with the with Shining Wizard. There we go. Yeah, I was just overwhelming him. Yeah, just straight compact moves. <laughs> I'm not even attempting the back two two. I just do back two. So I bait that out, and he gets punished for it. Yeah, preemptively breaking his throws. <laughs> that, that that's actually one thing I've learned in Tekken Six. It's like if if you get hit by a move and it's a trade, that doesn't necessarily you know like blast you away like away from each other. If you just do a crash dash one after it, for some reason, yeah, it, it catches a lot of people. Like, I, I just don't know why, but it, it works. It's super risky because, like, if if you're fa if you're facing somebody who's like very defensive and you do that, you're getting launched. Unless they decide in that moment to like push a button or something. Which generally people like that who are overly defensive right, never do. <laughs> Alright, so infinite on the final match. That was a big whiff and I didn't do anything. Alright, so now I'm introducing a whole lot more lows. Yeah, see? <laughs> Trade and go for something like that. So I took my plus frames and I went for the sweep. <laughs> yeah, just save pokes, save pokes. And then if once I get the advantage, knee. All right. Horrible. I'm not ducking that. Yeah, he's eating all these pokes. Okay, so he caught me twice. Was he gonna do it a third time? Yeah, he did a third time. Ah, oh, that's right. <laughs> At this what? moment, I knew that was gonna what? win. Robbery! Like as soon as I saw the like the rage animation, I knew that was gonna happen because that happens a lot against King's rage art and Fang's rage art when they do it against Yoshimitsu slide. They they like always trade spots and they both whiff. <laughs> Alright, so I think I since I like I knew that happened that I had him on tilt. Yeah, like, like I knew that I had him on tilt, so that's why I was just going ham on the last round. Because usually when something like that happens, it's very hard for people to like to bounce back, you know. So it's best to just ride that pendulum swing and do whatever it takes to keep it on your side. You know? Somebody clip um, that. Yeah, so Somebody clip, clip that uh, shit. Quick right. update. Somebody I will be going shit, to right. Evo. So that shit, that's going to be an exciting, like, an exciting weekend. <laughs> uh, as of the, the recording of this video, it is exactly a week and a half away. So I'm totally going to be recording a lot of things there. I'm taking my camera, taking extra batteries, and I'll be having my SD cards all nice and all nice and formatted so expect a lot of footage from there and yeah um this is a little shorter video than before just because a lot of my matches were off stream so thank you guys for watching and if you're not subscribed subscribe if you don't follow me on twitch you should because i post a lot of really weird things on there and i'm constantly streaming so yeah thank you guys for watching and catch you next time